Our lesson for today is titled Deciduous Trees. Let's go over some vocabulary before we get started. Bear, say bear. Bear means without any covering. Deciduous, say deciduous. Deciduous means losing leaves every year. Dormant, say dormant. Dormant means not active, asleep. Habitat, say habitat. Habitat is a place where an animal or plant lives that has food, water, and shelter. Our last word is sheds, say sheds. Sheds means drops, looses, or separates from something. I want you to take a minute and look at this picture and think about what you see. This is a picture of a forest. Forests are made up of many trees and other plants. There are two types of trees in this picture, deciduous trees and evergreen. So here are the deciduous trees and these are the evergreens. An evergreen tree is easy to remember because it says ever, which means always, and then green. So an evergreen tree is always green. So even though it's winter here, these trees are always green because they are evergreen trees. Deciduous means trees that lose or shed their leaves in the fall and grow them again in the spring. So since this is a picture of winter in the forest, we know these are the deciduous trees because they already lost their leaves. Those trees are bare. So today's main topic or main idea is deciduous trees. And I want you to listen carefully to find out what happens to deciduous trees throughout the year. There are many different kinds of plants in the world. Although each one is unique and special in its own way, most plants found on land are either deciduous or evergreen. Remember, a deciduous plant is one that loses its leaves. An evergreen plant is one that does not lose its leaves and is always green. This is a picture of an apple tree in the winter. An apple tree sheds its leaves every fall, so it is a deciduous tree. The word sheds means loses. Deciduous is a tricky word to say because it has four parts. Let's say the word together. Say deciduous. Now say deciduous. The four parts of the word deciduous can actually help you remember that deciduous trees change in the four seasons. Seasons happen in a cycle or circle over and over again. Spring, summer, fall, winter. Let's start with spring, when new things start growing. In the spring, the apple tree produces new leaves and apple blossoms or flowers. Remember Polly the honeybee? This is the time of year when she starts taking nectar from the inside of flowers. When she flies from flower to flower, she helps spread the pollen that is going to help the apples grow. In the summer, the apple tree grows many more green leaves. Apples begin to grow out of the blossoms. In the fall, the apples of the apple tree are fully grown and ready to pick. The leaves on the apple tree start to change to red and yellow, and then they fall off onto the ground. Over time, the leaves on the ground will break down into tiny pieces and become nutrients in the soil. Remember what nutrients are? It's like vitamins for the plants. 
Here's the apple tree again in the winter. Remember, the seasons repeat in a cycle or circle over and over again every year. This apple tree has bare branches again, meaning they are empty and without covering or leaves. That is because plants do not get as much sunlight during the winter as they do during the spring and summer. In the apple tree's habitat, the weather becomes cold and there is less light from the sun. A habitat is a place where an animal or plant lives. With less light from the sun, the tree's leaves cannot make food through photosynthesis. Because the apple tree cannot make food during the winter, it must conserve or save its energy. It does this by becoming dormant. So becoming dormant means to be asleep or not active. When the apple tree goes dormant, it stops making leaves, blossoms, and apples, and its branches become bare. This image shows an apple tree in all four seasons. Remember, the apple tree is a deciduous tree because it loses its leaves every year. In the spring, an apple tree is nice to look at with its white blossoms. In the summer, you can climb its branches, sit under the shade of its large green leaves, and admire the apples as they grow out of the blossoms. In the fall, you can pick the apple tree's fruit and watch its leaves change colors before falling off. In the winter, you can play in the snow under its bare branches. Although trees are special to us in many ways, it is important to remember that trees are also very important in nature. Trees, more than any other plants, help keep the air clean and safe to breathe, which you will learn more about later. They also provide food and homes for countless animals. So next time you see a big tree, wrap your arms around it and give it a big hug to show that you understand how important it is. So that's all we're going to learn today about deciduous trees. Go ahead and answer the questions.